Hey guys, it's David, checking back in with y'all after last week's little sermon, if you will. Um, this is just checking in with y'all before I get into the lesson for the children, making sure y'all are all right. I uh, miss seeing y'all Wednesdays and Sundays. Um, as of right now, I don't know exactly when we'll be back with y'all in church, but that's okay. I'll keep these pumping out to y'all, keeping y'all checking in on y'all, making sure y'all doing all right. I'm doing fine. My family's doing fine. Hope yours is as well. Um, just making sure y'all are good. So I'm going to go ahead and get to the lesson and get right into it. So we're going to continue on the lesson or the thought of resurrection eggs. Uh, we have, we've already learned six, but we're learning three more today. So the first egg is the crown of thorns. And I have actually three eggs to this time instead of just one. That's the cross. Thorns. Okay, so we have the thorns. So, what do the thorns represent? What? Why? Why thorns? Well, we know from the story of Jesus that he had a crown of thorns, and the main focus that we're gonna and for these three eggs was the humiliation that Jesus suffered while on the cross and getting onto the cross. So, when remembering the resurrection egg of thorns, remember that they put a crown of thorns on Jesus, and they called him, you know. All sorts of names and humility him, mocked him. Just everything in the book. So we need to remember though that Jesus, they did call him the king of the Jews, but we need to remember that Jesus wasn't just king of the Jews. He was the king of kings and he was the savior of the world. He came to save the world from their sins. So we, we must remember that when we're looking, thinking of the thorns and all the humiliation Jesus went through. Now, the humiliation didn't just stop with the name calling. Jesus had to go on to what is called a cross. And I know many of y'all know what a cross is, um, but that is our second egg. Um, just recapping what, you know, the cross, we see it everywhere in Christianity. It's a symbol of Christianity. We, as Christians, we know what Jesus did for us on the cross. And that's why we see our second resurrection egg being the cross so what why the cross why 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 are we talking about the egg for this cross well we need to remember that the cross was one of the most painful and humiliating ways to die back in Jesus' time they would hang you up typically in public um they would strip you down maybe maybe give you a cloth and you would hang there until you died the whole time people could call you names, spit on you, just do all sorts of types of things, whatever they wanted. Because in their eyes, you were a criminal. And that's how Jesus was viewed at that time. But we know that Jesus was not a criminal. He was coming to save them, save the world, save the, the people who were even calling him, the people who were sent him to death, save them as well from their own sins. And we know that. And we need to notice too that he didn't fight back. He didn't try to get off the cross. He knew what he had to do for us, and he did. And that leads me up to my final egg, the spear. The spear represents Jesus finally dying. We see the spear when Jesus finally said it is done and died. They put a spear through his rib cage, and out came blood and water. And that represented that he finally did die. And we know that three days later, he did come, but we'll probably talk more about that in the upcoming lesson. Um, but those are the three eggs, and if anything, the main point you need to come come away with is this. Jesus came to this earth to die for us. He came to this earth to save us from our sins and give us a better life. Give us a better, better, what would you say, hope, you would say. He gave us hope. Um, we also need to look at, though, he was humiliated. He was stripped down. He was called all sorts of names. He was spat upon. He was drugged through the dirt. He had to carry his own cross to, to his, you know, uh, to his death. He was whipped. We know all this. He was, he went through quite possibly one of the worst ways to die during his time. And he did all that because he loved us. He wanted to save us from our sins. 
So that's the main point I want you to come away with. Um, before I end, um, I am fairly sure that an email has gone out to you parents. Um, I'm pretty, I'm 99% sure. So basically, um, the PDF, there'll be PDFs or it might just, I'm not 100% sure. And if I'm wrong, I'm sorry, I'll get with uh, my team and I'll see what I can do with that. But there's like little activity, craft activities. This, uh, the verses is where I get the spear, crown of thorns and the cross. So I'm not hundred percent sure whether or not it has gotten to y'all. If it hasn't, I'll see if I can't get that to y'all. Um, but just something, something for you kids to do. Um, if your parents will want, want you to do that, or maybe you can download it and draw on the computer or something if they don't want you to draw on the paper. But anyways, um, that has been a lesson. I hope you'll have a good week. Hope you have a great rest of your week. I hope you stay safe. Bye.